Hey, peace and blessings, everybody. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that everything is going good in your life. I hope you had a great week, and I hope you're going to have a great weekend. You know what today is. It's Focus Friday. So now it's time that we lock in on our goals and on our dreams and on what we want to do over the weekend. Don't throw it away by going out partying, by going out drinking, by going out spending all your money that you worked hard for. Save it. Focus on it. Focus on what you want to do, what you really want to do, what your higher self is telling you that's more important. I'm not saying don't have fun. I'm not saying don't um, live your life. But I'm saying be smart with your choices so that you don't throw away your progress. It's time to focus in, y'all. So for today's message, I want to talk about being patient on your way to your breakthrough. You see, life is a journey, and I know you know that. But sometimes along that journey, we got to be patient. I truly believe that patience is one of the most underappreciated or undervalued, underrated qualities today. If you can be patient in life, if you can play checkers and not chess, if you can sit back and relax while God works things out in life, then you can achieve your breakthrough. If you're pushing so hard and you're 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 just knocking on every door and you're you're banging through every window and you're just trying to get every single opportunity that comes your way. Yes, I, I love it. You're hungry. But I don't think that's the way to go about life. Some opportunities are not meant for you. Some opportunities are going to take you down the wrong path and take you the long way to where you're really supposed to go. So I truly want to encourage you to be patient, relax, wait for God to encourage you to show you the path that you're supposed to go on. I know that your breakthrough is coming. I know that your breakthrough is not just something that you think about lightly. You want that breakthrough. I want it too. There's different levels to life and we're trying to break through to the next level, next level, next level, next level each time. I want to live a next level life. I want to just keep on going higher and higher. But I've learned that in order to go higher, it's not about how much work we're putting in all the time. And I know that's Countercultural. That's not what society tells us. Society tells us we got to work so hard to get our goals and get our dreams. But truly, I believe that you have to get with God to get on your path so that way you can go towards your dreams and towards your goals and towards what he has for you. I've adapted the saying that I want what God wants for me or what God has for me. Whatever he has for me, that's what I want because that's the best thing for me. God's ways are higher than my ways. So he knows what's truly good for me. He knows what's best for me. I might think I know what's good, but I'm just a man and I can make mistakes. But God, he is perfect. He does not make mistakes. So that's why I choose to follow God, because he's the one who created the universe. He's the one who created this planet. He's the one who created me. You see, it only makes sense that the creation will be loyal and follow his creator. But the thing is, God gives me free will. He gives me free a free life to go do what I want to do. And I give that life back to him because Jesus died on the cross. So now my sins are forgiven and I'm serving Christ and I'm serving God. So along that journey, it's going to take some patience. Along that journey, you got to be patient as you go towards your breakthrough. That breakthrough is coming, so hold on and don't give up. I said that breakthrough is coming, so hold on and don't give up. I know there might be a decision coming up for you that you have to make. You might not be ready to make it yet. You might not know what to do. You might have multiple options and you don't know which one to choose. Do I want to go to this school? Do I want to go to this school in the fall? Do I want to buy this or do I want to buy that? Do I want to live here? Do I want to live there? There's a lot of life decisions that we have to make. Truly, I believe that God will show you the path to go to. Truly, do I believe that God will light that path up for you so you can walk with him, so you can walk on his side and go towards the way that he wants you to go. Be patient on your journey. Be patient. That breakthrough is coming. It, it's coming for me too. Glory to God. But I know it's coming for you. And I want it to come for you. So I hope this video encourages you. I hope this video just helps you to stay holding on just that little longer so you can achieve that breakthrough. Don't give up. Don't give in. Not only do you have to not give up, but you have you can't give in either. 
Don't give in to that temptation. Don't give in to that sin. Don't give in to that small voice that's telling you to do something you know you shouldn't do. It's going to keep on nagging you. Fill yourself with positive thoughts. Fill yourself with the Word of God. Reading the Bible. Fill yourself with affirmations. Fill yourself with positivity. Good music. Good entertainment. Good TV. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you for tuning in to another Focus Friday. It's been real. It's been real. It's been good. It's been fun. I thank y'all for listening to me. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Stay focused this weekend. Achieve your goals. Achieve your dreams. Follow God. Walk with God. I'm out of here. Peace.